Hello, so this is Judy and I'm here with my friend Katsi and we are going to talk about her business, um, Gourmet Macarons, and she's going to tell us all about these amazing, I mean, macarons are one of my favorite, favorite foods in the world, okay, I just love them, and so Katsi's going to tell us a little bit about her business, so. Yeah, sure, yeah. absolutely, so um, as you might know, my background is in hospitality industry. So for, and I was very lucky to work only in five-star hotels. During the time I worked there, I developed really a taste for very good, you know, very good food. And I became what they call today a foodie. I was actually, I would serve at restaurants, go and eat in different places, try pastry shops and stuff, and then I'll give people my opinion about them. At that time, there was no social media as we know it today, but I used to do that live, <laughs> just tell people what, I thought of it. Um, a few years later, I moved out of um, Morocco, which is my uh, my um, where, the country where I was born, and I lived uh, in France for about a decade with my family. And guess what was my favorite place there? It was La Durée, which is um, the, the La Durée family is the they are the inventors of the macaron as we know it today with two layers colored, you know, and the uh, fill in the middle. I was lucky enough to live about 25 minutes by Metro from La Durée restaurant, which was on the Champs-Élysées, which is on the Champs-Élysées. And guess what? I used to take that Metro very often. Every time I have, uh, I had an appointment uh, in Paris, I was like, okay, let's meet on the Champs-Élysées. And most of the time, you know, it would be at La Durée. So I know my macarons very well. Years later, we moved to uh, we moved to Canada, and somebody approached me, um, telling me, "Listen, I have a friend who is curating the best foods in France, and exporting them. Would you be interested?" You know, and I'm like, "I think I would, absolutely." So I spoke to my current supplier. We decided to start with the macarons, but I told him, "You know, I know macarons very well. You have to send me some samples," which he did very readily. And he sent me sweet and savory macarons, and I was totally blown away. Because even when I was in France, when, even when I went to La Joy, I had never tried savory macarons in my life. And you know what? You are the one who introduced me to savory because I never knew that. I, I've had macarons many times in many places. They were always sweet, right? Always the sweet, you know, which I love. But then you yeah. told me about savory. And then I tried your, um, I think it was the tapenade one. And then there yeah. was, um, what was another one I tried? I can't remember now. Sweet pepper? Sweet yeah, pepper. the pepper ones. There was the red red one too. Yeah. They're really delicious. I mean, it's a, it's a little mm -hmm. different and maybe it is an acquired taste because we yeah. got it, um, our brains are brainwashed that macarons are supposed to be sweet. Yes. But these are delicious, so. I agree with you 100%. When I present anybody with savory macarons, I make sure that I let them know in advance mm -hmm. uh, because they, the palate has to know what it is going to expect. And although the word savory is a little bit of a misnomer because the shell is a little bit sweet. Uh, so it's the filling which is, uh, which is savory. So in French, they call them sucré salé, sweet and savory. You know, yeah, sucré and salé at the same time. And you and know. when I first had them, they were they were on a, a charcuterie board that you had yeah. made, and yes. it was so delicious. Like, I mean, I love charcuterie because I just love grazing on different foods. But to yeah. have macarons on the board as well, it was just very, yeah. and it was so pretty, it was so pretty. Thank you so much. Actually, I have prepared something today, which okay. I can't have any because I'm not there with you. <laughs> Yes, oh. which is really unfortunate, you know, hopefully as soon as COVID is over, uh, we'll be able, you'll be able to come over and have them with me again. Okay, so everybody, you heard that. She just gave me an, an invitation to come over and have, have some macarons. Absolutely. So here I have the orange ones that you see are the carrot and cumin. The red ones are sweet pepper. The dark gray one uh, is actually truffles and uh, talking like truffle mushroom and they have actual truffle in them. So it's really, really good. Uh, the whitish one uh, is goat cheese, but it's not, I'm not, we're not talking, you know, like the bland goat cheese, which you will find mostly, you know, in, in grocery stores here, but it is a very aged goat cheese. So it's very sharp in taste. Okay. So this, that one is really, I would say for people who like 
uh, very strong tastes, you know, like uh, yeah, that probably is not for me. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But I have clients who only buy that and nothing else. Really? Yeah, okay. that's all they buy. Goat cheese and Roquefort because they, and then they, they pair it, you know, with wine and they love it. So uh, yeah, they, the whole box is just what? <laughs> Goat cheese and Roquefort. Right, so, right. Uh, what it is. And then you, you put a little bit of, you know, fruit, some crackers, cheese. I love the Boursin, but I love also the Brie, you know, uh, so. Uh, and some fruits. I, I put here some slices of, of apples as well. And, you know, you can put some nuts, you know, there is any, um, yes. the, there's no limit to your imagination of how you could present it on the platter. But I, I think the, the uh, I, I say that sweet macarons are decadent and savory macarons are sophisticated. They really bring your platter, you know, to the next level. So, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, so the reason why I'm doing these interviews is because I want to showcase local <clears throat> local entrepreneurs like yourself. So even though you don't actually bake these macarons, um, you are actually importing them. Is that right? Yes. Is that right? Importing them from Paris. Like, yes. yes. So it's, it's, France. these are actual Parisian macarons, right? Yes. And I have to say that the, uh, the person who makes them, my supplier, He's a twice awarded artisan macaronier. This is like his full-time job. And not only that, it's, uh, th this business has been in the family. The macaron business has been in the family for three generations. So they have perfected their recipe. You know, they have perfected their craft and he keeps tweaking and changing and removing anything which is artificial in the colors, you know, in the, in the taste and everything. So I know, for example, that this year, our green olive uh, tapenade have a little bit of olive oil in them that the color uh, no longer looks like a little bit like the pistachio macarons because the green is closed. It actually looks like an actual olive color. Okay. Yes. It actually looks like a, an actual olive color. So um, I love that. I absolutely love it because he keeps uh, improving them, making them as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. So he makes, he freezes them to minus 18 and they come frozen at minus 18, which gives them an excellent shelf life. If they are stored again at minus 18, which I do at a local facility in Milton where I live. Yes. So, so these macarons are just so amazing and they're, they're really, really delicious, but Patsy has a really cool story to tell as well. Tell us about the Oscars. How did you yes. get to that? Yes, I'm going to give a big shout out to my uh, to my coach, uh, coach uh, Jennifer Lyall. Uh, I had I met her a couple of years ago. I attended a workshop for my very first vision board. I was just learning how to how to make a vision board, and I don't know how that happened, but she kind of. I, I was thinking at the time I would love to have my macarons at a prestigious event because I know that they are at that level. And uh, it's almost as if she tapped on what I was thinking of and she told me, hey, listen, this is what you should do. You should actually target prestigious events like the Oscars. Yeah. Um, absolutely, but I don't know how to do it. And yeah, it I would have thought the same thing. Like, how would you even how would connect I do with it? the Oscars? So she tells me about a specific website, you know, where uh, they call for, um, uh, it contributions from people or samples uh, for, of products, either to talk about them in newspapers or for, for certain events, us usually celebrity related events. And as soon as I came home, you know, when I opened my messenger, I found that she sent me actually the website. She said, you know, Cassie, this is the website, check them out, you know, you might find something. And sure enough, the same day I check it out, I find that there is a call for samples for the Oscars 2019. I was like, wow, I can't believe this. This is happening right now. I sent an email there and because they, they call for samples and they tell you, you have to be approved because of course everybody can send samples but not everybody is going to get approved. It has to be a, like a, a prestigious, you know, sophisticated, a nice product that they can put, you know, in, in the uh, swag bags of celebrities, A-list celebrities. So, um, wow, that is so cool. 
Yeah, and I sent them, of course, of course, information about the macarons, where they come them from, you know, the, the chef who makes them uh, and everything. They have won Le Trophée de la Gastronomie et des Vins in France. Uh, France, you know, in France, all macarons are good, but these are recognized in France itself, you know, so they stand out even in the world capital of macarons, I'm going to say. So once they knew everything about them, they were like, yes, we'd like to have them. Um, Amazing. You know, the rest is history. Yeah. And, and, and just, history. and just to let you know, I just met Jennifer Lyle recently too. She is pretty awesome. Yeah. So that, that's great. Um, so tell us, where can we find your macarons? Yeah, so my macarons are available online. So I, I uh, used to um, target mostly wholesale. So I had them at uh, some coffee shops and stuff, but with the COVID, uh, not everybody's been able to keep up with that. Uh, but I redid my website and for a seamless you know, e-commerce experience. And uh, so uh, the website is Gourmet, Gourmet with an S and Macarons with an S. So Gourmet, G-O-U-R-M-E-T-S, Macarons with an S, dot com. Um, yeah, and uh, you can- Instagram, you you're on Instagram because you I'm post as well. amazing pictures of um, a lot of charcuterie board type pictures with your macarons. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So you can so go to her IG to salivate over these pictures. They are just gorgeous. <laughs> yes, which and the uh, social media handle is as well at Gourmet with S, Macarons with S uh, for Instagram and for Facebook as well. But for purchasing, probably the easiest would be to go to the website. And I accept all uh, methods of payment, including PayPal and... Um, Deliver or you ship? You ship? Uh, it, out? So it depends it depends on the on the destination i deliver to west gta and i'm talking right now to somebody uh to help me deliver uh to the rest of gta toronto and the eastern part you know uh the, uh, you know like yeah the, the other suburbs on the other side of the city <laughs> and, <laughs> so and i'm talking to somebody so yeah, with right the holiday now. season coming up do you have anything coming up um product wise or specials Absolutely. Yes, I teamed up actually with uh, somebody you might know actually because she's also from the mob group. Uh, so um, Linda Moriopoulos Barnett, uh, she's uh, the she's the founder of the Travel and Tea Room, and she has some amazing organic loose leaf teas. Uh, and so I teamed up with her, and we came up with this your personal holiday uh, tea party gift box that has four teas, four kinds of her teas, and 10 gourmet macarons, and they're available on the website. Nice. Um, like to place an order. Actually, if you place an order today, it's free delivery <laughs> today. Whatever Free it delivery, is, okay. 23rd, it's free delivery in West GTA. And if you are not in West GTA, we'll talk. We'll, uh, you know, we're trying to encourage people to place order early because I'm, anticipating a very very busy uh holiday season oh, that that's great that's great yeah. um so yeah i encourage everybody to <laughs> try to shop local support your small businesses because we have i have met so many amazing uh, ladies who have started these these um well some of them are with food and some are with other types of things you know but honestly we have to try to help uh, each other because this whole pandemic thing is such an unusual time for all of us and um, yeah we want to help help you survive so so hopefully I will be getting more macarons for Christmas because um, I did get some from, from you last Christmas too so that's right that's right yeah. and and we and we saw each other it's free free delivery <laughs> yeah and, and we saw each other at the restaurant Canada show last uh, March Yes. But unfortunately, with everything, they're not having the show. Probably, it's going to be online. Yeah. Which it's going to be online. Is, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's going to be the same thing. Oh, yeah, we will, feel a little different. Still, yeah, reflect on whether I would like to go with the. Um, yeah, I'll reflect a little bit. Probably talk to my coach Jennifer Lyle, and then make a decision whether I want to go with them online. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Anyways, Katsy, thank you so much for, for coming on to Zoom with me. And I will have to upload this. Uh, I think I'm, I've got a, a YouTube video, uh, sorry, YouTube channel, which I'm still trying to figure out, but I'm, I'm going to be uploading it there and probably 
It will be on my Instagram. Um, I just started my new food blog, Instagram dish with Judy. So, so basically I'm kind of like dishing with all these lovely ladies and doing these interviews. <laughs> and I'm so surprised that you start this earlier because you are such a foodie and you have such great taste and you love good food. You know, Thank I know. you. So. It's, it's a little bit of, of getting over the shyness of appearing on video for me. So I'm, I'm doing it now. I mean, this is you are my third interview so far. So, and I've got another one coming up actually uh, in a few days, Sumag Sweets. And that's uh -huh. with Gabriella. She makes these alfa fioris, which is like shortbread cookies with I'm dolce leche. So delicious. So <laughs> good. So anyway, so that's coming up next. But anyways, okay. thank you so much for being here, Patsy. And um, I hope to see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yes. Bye.